and welcome back to The Lion's Den, the only podcast that talks about repeat topics because he finds them interesting. Anyway, I'm your host Matt as always, and today we're talking about the Mario Kart DLC that came out, I think last night, I completely missed that it came out. I saw the announcement video for it, and I was like, oh, this looks really exciting because I saw what all the tracks were, and I thought, oh, this is a really good selection, plus there's the new track, which is cool. And then I completely forgot about the date as to when it was released. So I think it was released yesterday or overnight. Whatever. I downloaded it this morning. I've been playing it at lunchtime and I have some thoughts. Let's put it that way. So today's episode is just going to be walking through all of the new tracks that have been added. And yeah, let's start, shall we? So they've continued continued their tradition of releasing a tour track a new track and some retro tracks which I'm really glad that they're doing the tour tracks because the tour tracks are beautiful and I think Nintendo understood the idea that when the mobile game goes when that's obsolete when the servers shut down all of those amazing tracks are gone and to be honest I played tour not a lot because I kind of couldn't get into it but I really did enjoy the challenge modes I loved the fact that there was a million customizations that was super awesome and I really enjoyed the challenge modes where it was a bit like the Mario Kart DS mission mode the challenges that they did they were really fun but the driving mechanics were horrible it didn't feel fun to drive it felt very RNG and pay to win essentially so It's nice that the tracks they've designed for that game with the tour tracks, they are bringing over to the DLC and letting them breathe in a really nice area. Some of my favourite DLC tracks are the tour tracks. I love London Loop. The song, the layout, the way it drives, so good. So I'm very glad. That means we start off with Athens Dash, which I didn't even know they'd gone to Athens in Mario Kart Tour. So that's insane. But Athens Dash is nice enough it's a nice sort of tour through the capital and it's very pretty there's a lot going on in terms of the terrain and routes and things to do i imagine there is shortcut potential everywhere it's a little bit blind is my only problem you find there's a couple corners that are very hard to judge when you're driving it so that would be my biggest complaint um the next one we've got in this cup is daisy cruiser which is a classic they've retained everything they've opened up the second side of the top deck which i think they did in one of the remakes in a previous mario kart game they've kept the water mechanic for the pool which was added in seven they kept the underwater part in the lower deck as well with the cannon from not the cannon with the um with the funnel at the section they've kept the sliding uh, dining room as well that's really nice it looks visually very stunning which is great and it's pretty decent to drive it's a little tricky on 200 i'll get back to that later because most of them are tricky on 200 but yeah good course good overall very nice Moving on to a Wii track, we've got Moonview Highway. Awesome. Love the music. Don't quite love the transition. That doesn't work very well. Um, I wonder if the routes for the cars are the same or different and whether you can learn them. Because I know people who played Mario Kart Wii competitively learnt the path routes for all of the cars. So they could tell you at what point in the race where a car was going to be. So I wonder if people are going to start doing that for this one. That'd be really cool. Um, but it looks great again they've really nicely updated the visual style of it i say it's the midsection when you go through the gates the the music changes and i'm not a huge fan of that but hey ho and then we finally move on to ski gosh i can't talk squeaky clean sprint the brand new track added for this wave ironic because it's about water and waves I'll be honest, I think it's a bit missed potential. It's a good track, I will say that. It's fun, it's entertaining, there are a million different hidden details that I'm still noticing as I'm playing it more and more and more. It's nice enough to drive, if not a little bland, I'll be honest. I kind of wish they'd thrown in more of the new mechanics that 8 brought to the to the game with, you know, the anti-gravity because all you've really got is the water sections because obviously that's very apt in a bathroom but I think as well the sense of scale that you're driving through a bathroom is a bit lost because you're in it if that makes sense there's not enough visual indicators to tell you hey you're 
this is the context of what you're driving in, if that makes sense. But yeah, I wish they'd gone a little bit more crazy with the design and the layout, but that's just me. So that's the first cup. The second cup, we've got a tour track again. So we've got the Los Angeles laps. Are we honest? This one's kind of boring. I don't quite see the correlation between this and the city it's based off. And there's a lot of sand area, which has low traction, which is not quite as enjoyable to drive, but it's fine. It's a tall track. It's nice to see it here and to drive it. Then we've got a disappointment, which is Sunset Wilds. I know what the original track layout should look like, and it does not look anything like it on this version, and it's so boring to drive. Like, it's mostly straight lines, there's not a lot of, like, bumps or jumps or anything. The most interesting part of the track is the ending section. What? I think they missed a bit here. It's nice to see it, but I think they could have done better, personally. Then we've got a banger of a track, which is Cooper Cape. It's really nice. They've updated it wonderfully. It drives really well. Why are there no electric shockers in the pipe section, though? Why did you remove those? What was the point of that? They added a nice little half pipe and some spin boosters, but there's no danger to it now. Where, where, where was the crazy zany? Oh, no, I've been zapped in first place. Other than that, it's a pretty good track, because it was a good track in the base game, so... Yay! <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. And then finally, Vancouver Velocity, which is far, far and away the most interesting track, because they actually added stuff to it. They added the anti-grav section, there's flying, I think there's a water section, and the bit with the ice rink. This is a really nice track, really fun and entertaining to drive. The music is a little bit hit and miss. It's not quite as high energy and fun as I would have hoped but maybe that's just me I think it's still a very nice track and I love the ambiance of it and like I say it's the most interesting in terms of functions they've built into the track so yeah <laughs> it's been a pretty good pack to be honest the only downside only bad track I would say is the Sunset Wilds because I just think they could have done more with it I really want them to go and take a GBA track and just kind of explode it which they did, they did that with Ribbon Road. Why have they not done that again? It's like they did Ribbon Road and made that track wildly different to its GBA counterpart and then said, no, we're just gonna make remakes of the original GBA tracks, but that's boring. They did, again, Cheeseland, another phenomenal track from the GBA that they glowed up into something really interesting. Why have you stopped doing that? <laughs> if you have any more GBA tracks coming, please make them interesting because, ah, uh, I don't know. My biggest gripe, though, is they're all too small. <laughs> they're really tight tracks, like there's not a lot of room on the roads, and they just feel small, which is a problem for this game because there's 12 races on the track. And even more so, when you play 200, it's so fast that it's inevitable that you're going to hit walls and bounce around. I think something went wrong when they were scaling the tracks, and I wonder if they'll fix that or not. Maybe they don't realise it's a problem. Maybe they will, and they're working on it, I don't know, but it just feels like everything's a little bit too small to work properly. Like on 150, it's okay, you notice it, but you can work with it, but on 200, you're like a pinball machine, you're bouncing around all over the place, and that's what bothers me, is like, I think on, is it Los Angeles Loop, um, or Laps, rather, Los Angeles Laps, the sidewalk as they say in america um is raised and it is a hard wall so when you're on 200 driving the tight street sections you hit a wall you're bouncing everywhere you're losing speed you're out of control and i kind of wish that it was just off-road rather than a hard barrier something like um the singapore track much wider roads much easier to navigate and there's more sections in it where you can drive in the pavement sections or in the grass sections obviously there's a penalty for doing that you slow down but you don't go spinning out of control that would be my biggest gripe with that and that applies to things like the athens dash as well that has the same problem of hard walls and being very thin like the ending section where you're jumping through the ruins towards the finish line those gaps are so tight like a single car tight I imagine that leads to some insane moments where you can snipe people or you just have this explosion of crashing, but it's really annoying to drive. So, yeah, I think they missed a little bit there. But otherwise, I think this has been a pretty good selection of tracks. Um, I imagine I just need to get good with 200 or maybe figure out a better car accommodation. How could I forget 
The new characters, I couldn't care less about them. BD Piranha, great to have because he was in Double Dash. The Wiggler, why? Why did you bring that back from Seven? Nobody wanted the Wiggler. And then Kamek. Kamek's fine. I could have thought of other people that I'd have preferred them over Kamek, but what are you going to do about it? Anyway, <laughs> I'll be sticking to Roy, my boy Roy. He's so fun. He's so cool and cocky and I love it. <laughs> anyway, what do you think? Have you played the new tracks? Are you enjoying them? Some of the music is really good because it's Maricot 8 and they slap with doing music. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed listening. Have a great week and I'll see you all next week. Bye!